Greetings, all praise the King. Welcome to Eyewitness, where we reason to discover the truth. You know, we've been speaking about witchcraft and wizardry, forms of pagan idolatry. And we are hearing the results of what we have spoken about over the years. And by now, most people do realize that they are being ripped off. And they're being ripped off by the various institutions that govern their everyday lives. These institutions work in coordination as a network. They have existed this way for as long as man has recorded history. Their role is to acquire power. They exist at the top to disguise their operations. Now, maybe some people will accuse myself of being a conspiracy terrorist. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. What they are doing is projecting uh, that there's something wrong with that. This is the branding we've spoken about over the years, the conditioning or programming of people to make believe that you know, what they see is not real, and what's not real is what they see. And sometimes what they see is real when it's not. So they have designed a way, which is a plan for them to acquire the wealth, which really is power, because wealth does not exist without this. And even the wealth that is generated is worthless without a demand for this capital that they possess is only value, has value, when it has demand, when people want it. You know, the old saying, you want what you can't have, but that's because when you have something. How easy is it now to take it for granted? Even those that were fed um, by the disciples and the Christ as the Christ made for them from the two fishes to feed the multitude. And then when they were finished, he ordered for the fragments, the scraps, to be collected. Because when the people had got their fill, then they now no longer value that food they threw. So there's a need now to protect this way, the plant. And that means they have to sell it. And how will they sell it? Well, they'll do it through their various communication channels. Those looking to heave their garbage into your ears. Those are the communication channels. 
sometimes referred to as the media. Now this is taking on a new interpretation as we discuss. These things that people see are sometimes not real. And when people are projected an image, which is this process of branding, they become programmed to think in in a particular way about that subject. So we have this current exercise we've discussed almost since its inception to sell the structure of rule that's based on something they call the Constitution. And it's the communication channels that are going to do the selling. Newspaper, TV, radio, and sometimes through individuals if they're wearing attire or having other means of display to project the message. Now, this Constitution, again, forms the basis for the structure which coordinates the process. They often say, no one of us is above the law. They've mixed their blood to become like one another and give their oath to this God. Even the first beast, you know, the first beast is the product of Satan. The second beast we've discussed being the artificial intelligence giving power to the first beast so that all may come and worship and serve at its feet. That is the demand which gives it its power, this being the dragon even the dragon having given power to the beast. This artificial intelligence having the power to speak many tongues, it reaches people all over the planet. It's taking the information. It's acting as if it's a god. You know, the man pretends it's coming alive, but that's only that tangible item produced with the hands of men that is then given that power to fool people. This artificial intelligence is a series of numbers as we discuss the numerical sequence. It's made up of algorithms. The man wants to pretend that it's many gods, but it's really just one god, as declared the second beast. It is now scanning all the communications which are being intercepted through the devices to determine you know, where the threats are. It, it, it passes the threat to the next stage, which is a person. Eventually, they would like to eliminate that stage because some people may have an issue, you know, about how it's, it's happening. If they are looking to stay in power, they do not care what happens to the rest of us. If the rest of the populations disappear, they will get it all. But now they need the populations to finalize this plan. Yeah. Each person, when they go to work and they collect the paycheck, they're going to pay in your federal and your state taxes. When they go to purchase something from a store, they're paying in. They're paying the state tax, plus they're giving that store revenue, which then will return to a tax. Remember what the Christ had said about these taxes. 
strictly forbidden. This was for a reason. It's because it was going to this plan. The satanic ultimatum. Today, you know, they got to sell it. But they have some problems, you know, hiccups along the way. This Constitution being one, most everyone now knows, realizes, these were drafted by people who thought it to be their rightful gift by even creator to destroy other civilizations. They were genocidal. <clears throat> so from listening to one of the, the house servants speaking about it, saying that they were writing, they were pedophiles. They were writing it into their structure to be able to marry uh, 10 year olds. Now, <laughs> you got guys who are supremacist, pedophile, and now uh, a rapist. Yeah. And they, it's, it, it, they, they're attempting, the communication channels attempt to soften the term rapist to be someone who had a consensual sex, but nevertheless it wasn't appropriate because it was with their, their slaves. And this is, this, these are only the few accounts that are known of. Any logical person would deem to conclude that there are more episodes. So, this Constitution of the United States of America is based on pedophilia, pedophilian, rapists, slave, slave hoarders. And those are the ones that are glorified every day. Everywhere. There's a reason that they base their constitution off of evil men was because then they could carry out their evil acts and it would be accepted. So now the communication channels, including the house servants, are selling this pitch that there is this progress that these guys weren't really that great but yeah, they were. But yet, yeah, it's moving somewhere that's even better for us. That's what they say. Us. Yeah. <laughs> they're mo they're monitoring using their. Second beast to determine how their message is being received. They can use these databases along with their mathematical equations to determine which messages are most effective. This is the one that they're riding on at the current moment. These are crooks. They deserve to be punished. But yet, they won't be because they're protected by their rule. And instead, the innocent people go to jail and be slaughtered. We 
talked about it. Pedophile step down. Vice pedophile step up. The woman, you know, struts into the forum. Grabs the money. All eyes, all ears. Democracy. They are there to purport to represent something. People are being taken by their own witchcraft. Remember now, this is the structure. It governs people's lives. People give power to it. And if it's a few, even some that look like someone else, they act like someone. Most of the pupils. It ain't gonna change. Unless people overturn it. And it ain't gonna be overturned. It ain't gonna be overturned with a lawyer in a pinstripe suit. It ain't gonna be overturned by a slick politician. It's gonna be overturned if it doesn't produce the results that those at the top are expecting. They base their decisions off of this bottom line. That's the result. You know when people say, what's the bottom line? Spare them time to tell them the line cut to the chase. This is a figure. They base it, their decisions, on numbers. If we can find a way to adjust these numbers to no longer provide that revenue, yet to turn that number What is it going to take if it's not talk? And how is this any helpful? Because it takes that connection, even with the king. <laughs>